decided to take a work camp job in South Dakota. Because we're down to RV. Come along, we'll show you what's going on. say stuff stuff all right so an interesting fact uh, being here in the Black Hills of stuff. South Dakota <laughs> is it took us almost a week to get used to the oxygen level here because apparently we're a mile up we are we are level with Denver and I didn't know what was going on because I was just tired but then we found out that it's the low oxygen level so it's been about a week since we've been here and we're finally getting out and we're gonna go to Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore, yes. Mount Rushmore, yes. Are you excited? Really oh, you wanna talk? Yes. Okay, you talk to him. And we are we had the world. Let's show everybody this view. Yeah, let's see. I gotta this tell view. you, this is one of the reasons we stayed here in the Dakotas. It's unbelievable. Just gonna say that. Oh, it's, it's a penis. It's penis rock. Wow, look at this rock. Whoa. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, it's a desert over there. It's the Badlands. It is? entertaining YouTube content. The parking garage of Mount Rushmore. Excited? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I've always wanted to come here. I didn't think I was ever going to do this in my lifetime. <laughs> Me either. It's awesome. We're busy. Hi, here. 
There's the faces. There's somebody standing on top. So this is definitely on my Lifetime Achievement Award. This is so cool. This is one of the most amazing experiences. So pretty. Yeah, it's it's really something. Is it a uh, like a park ranger person? What do you think, or? Athena? So I figure I've always wanted to do a monologue in front of Mount Rushmore. <laughs> but I can't think of anything to say. It's really dry here. You need chapstick. You want water? That's really awesome. This is definitely a childhood dream. I would have never thought I was going to make it here in my lifetime. I, it's just really a big deal. And to bring the fam along. Yeah, I never got to go on any of those field trips, but this is really something to see. And it couldn't be a better day. It's like 60 degrees out, 65, something like that. Perfectly clear. It's nice. And comfortable. It looks like we're coming upon some kind of filming. Yep, it's, yeah, it's, it's okay. good. I'll be, okay. I'll be listening. Got it, cool. Okay, well can you first just introduce yourself? Sure. You and your title? Uh, my name is Blaine Cordemont, and I can teach interpretation. They're filming the guys that maintain the, the monument. Guys that climb up there, doing an interview about how hard the job is. We saw them up there a little while ago, all cabled on. That's a crazy job to have, huh? I know. You're doing a good job. There is a deer right here. That's some big old ears. Oh, dear. All right, so we're at the base of the monument now. It's extraordinary. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Can't help but stare. So it's so funny. It is very epic here. The geology is very interesting on these rocks too. These granites, <clears throat> granite faces, the streaks of quartz. So for me, this is top three of the places we visited. This is this is something you definitely have to check out once in your lifetime. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's just it's, breathtaking. It's really pretty. The guy did a good job. Not even gonna lie, it's a really good job. It's not tourist trappy at all, like I thought it was gonna be. It has a national park feel without the tourist trappiness.